On January 23rd, in a parliamentary meeting of its winter session in Strasbourg, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe looked into two reports relating to Azerbaijan. The report compiled by monitoring committee co-reporters Pedro Agramon and Joseph Gregg deals with the implementation of obligations and commitments by Azerbaijan. The second report by Christoph Strasser analyzes the situation with political prisoners. Both of the reports were discussed and put up for voting. Despite of the fact that 14 people included in my list of political prisoners were pardoned at the end of last year, the problem of political prisoners has not been resolved completely, said Strasser commenting on his report. Although the report by Agreement and Greg was adopted almost unanimously, the Assembly members' opinions on Strasser's report were conflicting. PAC member from Luxembourg, Anna Brasser, welcomed Strasser's report. We applaud the release of several political prisoners, but we see other people entering this list. Arresting people for their belief is unacceptable, said Brasser. She also condemned the denial of visa to Strasser by the Azerbaijani government and objected to calling pro Strasser members of PAC the anti Azerbaijani lobby. British member of PAC Robert Walter criticized Strasser's report. His report has been prepared on the basis of information provided by blogs and NGOs. I think this may discredit our work. We won't adopt his report, said Walter. German member Catherine Werner said this is unfair to deny visa to the rapporteur to carry out monitoring. Council of Europe member states should not have political prisoners. All of them must be released, said Werner. Italian member Luca Volante agreed with the statement that Azerbaijan has made certain progress, but also raised concern over lack of independence of the judiciary, problems with freedom of expression, attacks on journalists and existence of political prisoners. He supported Strasser's report. According to German member Viola von kramen tobadel the justice system of Azerbaijan is not in line with European standards. Norwegian member Liz Christopherson noted that Azerbaijani government puts restrictions on the freedom of assembly and prosecutes journalists and activists on trumped-up charges. French member Jean-Marie Bacquel refused to vote for Strasser's report, saying that it was incomplete. Member of Azerbaijani delegation Roshan Razaev denied Strasser's statement that in Azerbaijan people are prosecuted for their beliefs. We hope that our colleagues will help us to boost democracy. I wish Strasser were in Azerbaijan and witnessed everything with his own eyes, said Razaev. Head of Azerbaijani delegation Samatsedov disapproved of the fact that two reports relating to Azerbaijan were put up for discussion at the same time. How can we vote for Strasser's report when it includes the names? of people who even do not exist in reality. We are not against Strasser, we are against his report which undermines European values, said Seydov. Canadian representative Cornelia Chisu said he was concerned that, since Azerbaijan's accession to the Council of Europe, not a single parliamentary or presidential election has fully met democratic standards. He said it was necessary to make changes to the electoral court. He also spoke about corruption, lack of transparency in the activities of state structures, and lack of political pluralism. Summing up the discussions, Christoph Strasser noted that he was rebuked for not visiting Azerbaijan while he had not been given a visa to enter the country in the first place. They did not allow me to visit Azerbaijan. Now they are accusing me of being subjective. My report is based on in-depth analysis. We receive necessary information from quite different sources. We should work for and defend those who have been arrested unfairly," said Strasser. As a result of voting, the report by Agreement and Greg was adopted by 196 votes to 2, while Strasser's report was rejected by 74 votes to 125. According to the adopted text, PAC urges the Azerbaijani government to release political prisoners, improve election procedure, facilitate NGO registration process, give other political parties the opportunity to establish a political group in the parliament, etc. The PAC also noted that Nagorno-Karabakh conflict still remains unsolved and suggested that the dispute be regulated based on the resolution of UN Security Council, OSC, Council of Europe and European Parliament. PAC decided to continue the monitoring of Azerbaijan's obligations and commitments until they are completely fulfilled. At a press conference following the plenary meeting, PAC rapporteur Christoph Strasser expressed his regret over the rejection of his report. This is not only my loss, 
but also that of the Committee on Legal Affairs and Human Rights and the PAC as a whole, said Strasser. Azerbaijani human rights activist Rashid Hajili Emin Hussainov, Rasul Jafarov and Melahat Nasibova, who also participated in the winter session of PAC, held a press conference following the discussions.